Welcome back to Good Day. So I'm giving you a look at a few places around Sacramento that might have spirits lurking about Ooh. today. So on the daily list now, I've got three other Sacramento hotspots you might not know about. <gasps> Number one's right downtown, the Leland Stanford Mansion. Oh. Uh, Stanford, who was California's eighth governor, did not build the home at 8th and N, but lived there. It's now a state park. It's said to be haunted by Leland Stanford Jr., mm. who died of typhoid fever when he was 15. Stanford University was built as a memorial to the boy, but some say the teen appeared to his father and asked him to build the college. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 8th okay, and N. 8th and N. Drive by. Take a look. Yeah. Number two, Cody Cove. Hey! What? Also known by its true name, Sand Cove Park, it's a city of Sacramento Park on the Sacramento River just off the Garden Highway. The park appears to be the home of a ghostly woman who has been heard saying, Te Papa. Oh. Ghostly lights have also been spotted around the park, and some believe the place used to be a burial ground. Wow. And number three, the Julia Morgan House, a beautiful mansion at 37th and T, was designed in 1918 by architect Julia Morgan and is on the National Register of Historic Places. But even as recently as the last 20 years, people reported hearing children crying when none oh. were around and saw images of a man in a top hat and reported the smell of grilled onions in the air when no one was cooking. Um, yeah. I'm not. What's okay with this with city? That. What's up with this city? <laughs> <laughs> For more haunted hotspots around Sacramento, go to wow.